The Laptev C Russian, more Laptev Tr, more Laptevic, Saka, Laptevtar Bejgalara is a marginal sea of the Arctic Ocean. It is located between the northern coast of Siberia, the Tamir Peninsula, Severnaya Zemlya and the New Siberian Islands. Its northern boundary passes from the Arctic Cape to a point with coordinates of 79 degrees north and 139 degrees east, and ends at the Anasi Cape. The Kara Sea lies to the west, the East Siberian Sea to the east. The sea is named after the Russian explorers Dmitry Laptev and Karatin Laptev. Formerly, it had been known under various names, the last being Nordenskjeld Sea, Russian, more Nordenselda after explorer Adolf Erik Nordenskjeld. The sea has a severe climate with temperatures below 0 degrees Celsius (32 degrees Fahrenheit) over more than 9 months per year, low water salinity, scarcity of flora, fauna and human population, and low depths, mostly less than 50 meters. It is frozen most of the time, though generally clear in August and September. The seashores were inhabited for thousands of years by indigenous tribes of Yukagers and then Evans and Avanks, which were engaged in fishing, hunting and reindeer husbandry. They were then settled by Yakuts and later by Russians. Russian explorations of the area started in the 17th century. They came from the south via several large rivers which empty into the sea, such as the prominent Lena River, the Katanga, the Anabar, the Olenyak, the Omoloi and the Yana. The sea contains several dozen islands, many of which contain well-preserved mammoth remains. Major human activities in the area are mining and navigation on the northern sea route, fishing and hunting are practiced but have no commercial significance. The largest settlement and port is Tixi. Topic. Extent Topic. The International Hydrographic Organization defines the limits of the Laptev Sea as follows On the west. The eastern limit of Kara Sea Komsomolets Island from Cape Molotov to southeastern Cape, thence to Cape Vorichilov, Okshaburskaya Revolutsiya Island to Cape Anuchin. Then to Cape Unslicht on Bolshevik Island. Bolshevik Island to Cape Yevgenov. Thence to Cape Pronkizdehev on the mainland see Russian chart No. 1484 of the year 1935. On the north. A line joining Cape Molotov to the northern extremity of Katelna Island 76 degrees 10 in 138 degrees 50 e. On the east. From the northern extremity of Katelna Island, through Katelna Island to Cape Madveji. Then through Malyi Island Little Lyakovsky Island, to Cape Vigwin on Great Lyakov Island. Thence to Cape Sviatoy Nose on the mainland. Using current geographic names and transcription this definition corresponds to the area shown in the map. The sea's border starts at Arctic Cape formerly Cape Molotov on Komsomolets Island at 81 degrees 13 and 95 degrees 15 e and connects to Cape Rosa Luxemburg MY's Razi Lyaksomburg, the southeastern cape of the island. The next segment crosses Red Army Strait and leads to Cape Vorichilov on October Revolution Island and afterwards through that island to Cape Anuchin at 79 degrees 39 minutes 37 seconds north 100 degrees 21 minutes 22 seconds east. Next, the border crosses Shokolsky Strait to Cape Unslicht at 79 degrees 25 04 N 102 degrees 31 00 E on Bolshevik Island. It goes further through the island to Cape Yevgenov at 78 degrees 17 and 104 degrees 50 e. From there, the border goes through Vilkitsky Strait to Cape Pronchyshev at 77 degrees 32 minutes 57 seconds north 105 degrees 54 minutes 4 seconds east on the Tamar Peninsula. The southern boundary is the shore of the Asian mainland. Prominent features are the Katanga Gulf estuary of the Katanga River and the delta of the Lena River. In the east, the polygon crosses the Dmitry Laptev Strait. It connects Cape Sivatoy Nose at 72.7 degrees north 141.2 degrees east, 72.7, 141.2 Sivatoy Nose with Cape Vagin at 73 degrees 26 minutes 0 seconds north 139 degrees 50 minutes 0 seconds east in the very east of Bolshoi Lyakovsky Island. Next, the Laptev Sea border crosses Iterakan Strait to Little Lyakovsky Island aka Malyi Island at 74.0833 degrees north 140.5833 degrees east, 74.0833, 140.5833 Little Lyakovsky Island up to Cape Medvezi. 
Finally, there is a segment through Catelny Island to Cape Annecy, its northernmost headland 76 degrees 10 and 138 degrees 50 e. The last link reaches from there back to Arctic Cape. Geography <laughs> <laughs> The Lena River, with its large delta, is the biggest river flowing into the Laptev Sea, and is the second largest river in the Russian Arctic after Yenisei. Other important rivers include the Katanga, the Anabar, the Olenyak or Olenik, the Omoloi and the Yana. The seashores are winding and form gulfs and bays of various sizes. The coastal landscape is also diverse, with small mountains near the sea in places. The main gulfs of the Laptev Sea coast are the Katanga Gulf, the Olenyak Gulf, the Burkea Gulf, and the Yana Bay. There are several dozens of islands with the total area of 3,784 square kilometers (1,461 square miles), mostly in the western part of the sea and in the river deltas. Storms and currents due to the ice thawing significantly erode the islands, so the Semenovsky and Vasilyevsky Islands 74 degrees 12 n, 133 degrees east, which were discovered in 1815 have already disappeared. The most significant groups of islands are Severnaya Zemlya, Komsomolskaya Pravda, Vilkitsky and Fadi, and the largest individual islands are Bolshoi Bogichev 1764 square kilometers, Belkovsky 500 square kilometers, Meili Tamer 250 square kilometers, Stalbovoy 170 square kilometers, Starokadomsky 110 square kilometers, and Pesheniyi 17 square kilometers. Sea islands of the Laptev Sea more than half of the sea rests on a continental shelf with the average depths below 50 meters 160 feet, and the areas south from 76 degrees north are shallower than 25 meters. In the northern part, the sea bottom sharply drops to the ocean floor with the depth of the order of 1 km 0.62 miles 22% of the sea area. There it is covered with silt, which is mixed with ice in the shallow areas. Climate The climate of the Laptev Sea is Arctic continental and, owing to the remoteness from both the Atlantic and Pacific Oceans, is one of the most severe among the Arctic seas. Polar night and midnight sun last about three months per year on the south and five months on the north. Air temperatures stay below 0 degree s 11 months a year on the north and nine months on the south. The average temperature in January coldest month varies across the sea between minus 31 degrees Celsius minus 24 degrees Fahrenheit and minus 34 degrees Celsius minus 29 degrees Fahrenheit and the minimum is minus 50 degrees Celsius minus 58 degrees Fahrenheit. In July, the temperature rises to 0 degree S maximum 4 degree S in the north and to 5 degree S maximum 10 degree S in the south, however, it may reach 22 to 24 degree S on the coast in August. The maximum of 32.7 degrees Celsius .9 degrees Fahrenheit was recorded in Tixi. Strong winds, blizzards and snowstorms are common in winter. Snow falls even in summer and is alternating with fogs. The winds blow from south and southwest in winter with the average speed of 8 meters per second which subsides toward the spring. In summer, they change direction to the northerly and their speed is 3 to 4 meters per second. Relatively weak winds result in low convection in the surface waters, which occurs only to the depth of 5 to 10 meters. Topic: Ice The Laptev Sea is a major source of Arctic sea ice. With an average outflow of 483,000 square kilometers per year over the period 1979 to 1995, it contributes more sea ice than the Barents Sea, Kara Sea, East Siberian Sea and Chukchi Sea combined. Over this period, the annual outflow fluctuated between 251,000 square kilometers in 1984-85 and 732,000 square kilometers in 1988-89. The sea exports substantial amounts of sea ice in all months, but July, August and September ice formation starts in September on the north and October on the south. It results in a large continuous sheet of ice, with the thickness up to 2 meters 6 feet 7 in, in the southeastern part of the sea as well as near the coast. The coastal sheet ends at the water depth of 20 to 25 meters which occurs at several hundred kilometers from the shore, thus this coastal ice covers some 30% of the sea area. 
Ice is drifting north to this coastal band, and several polynias are formed by the warm south winds around there. They have various names, such as the Great Siberian Polynia, and can stretch over many hundreds kilometers. The ice sheet starts melting in late May-early June, creating fragmented ice agglomerates on the northwest and southeast and often revealing remains of the mammoths. The ice formation varies from year to year, with the sea either clear or completely covered with ice. Topic. Hydrology Topic. The sea is characterized by the low water temperatures, which ranges from minus 1.8 degrees Celsius .8 degrees Fahrenheit in the north to minus 0 0.8 degrees Celsius .6 degrees Fahrenheit in the southeastern parts. The medium water layer is warmer, up to 1.5 degree S because it is fed by the warm Atlantic waters. It takes them 2.5 to 3 years to reach the Laptev Sea from their formation near Spitsbergen. The deeper layer is colder at about minus 0.8 degree S. In summer, the surface layer in the ice-free zones warms up by the sun up to 8 to 10 degree S in the bays and 2 to 3 degree S in the open sea, and remains close to 0 degree S under ice. The water salinity is significantly affected by the thawing of ice and river runoff. The latter amounts to about 730 cubic kilometers and would form a 135 centimeters freshwater layer over the entire sea. It is the second largest in the world after the Kara Sea. The salinity values vary in winter from 22 parts per thousand in the southeast to in the northern parts of the sea. It decreases in summer to 5, 2, and 30 to respectively. Most of the river runoff, about 70% or 515 kilometers three per years, is contributed by the Lena River. Other major contributions are from Katanga, more than 100 cubic kilometers, Olenyak, 35 cubic kilometers, Yana, greater than 30 cubic kilometers, and Anabar, 20 cubic kilometers, with other rivers contributing about 20 cubic kilometers. Owing to the ice melting season, about 90% of the annual runoff occurs between June and September with 35 to 40% in August alone, whereas January contributes only 5%. Sea currents form a cyclone consisting of the southward stream near Severnaya Zemlya which reaches the continental coast and flows along it from west to east. It is then amplified by the Lena River flow and diverts to the north and northwest toward the Arctic Ocean. A small part of the cyclone leaks through the Sanikov Strait to the East Siberian Sea. The cyclone has a speed of 2 cm per second which decreases toward the center. The center of the cyclone drifts with time that slightly alters the flow character. The tides are mostly semi-diurnal rise twice a day, with the average amplitude of 0.5 m in. in the Katanga Gulf it may reach 2 m because of the funnel-like shape of the gulf. This tidal wave is then noticeable up to the unusually long distance of 500 km up to the Katanga River. The tidal wave is damped at much shorter distance in other rivers of the Laptev Sea. The seasonal variations of the sea level are relatively small. The sea level rises up to 40 cm in, in summer near the river deltas and lowers in winter. Wind induced changes are observed all through the year, but are more frequent in autumn when the winds are strong and steady. In general, the sea level rises with northern and lowers with southern winds, but depending on the area, the maximum amplitude is observed for a specific wind direction e.g. western and northwestern in the southeastern part of the sea. They average amplitudes are 1 to 2 meters and may exceed 2.5 meters 8 feet 2 in near Tixi. Owing to the weak winds and shallow waters, the sea is relatively calm with the waves typically within 1 meter 3 feet 3 in. In July-August waves up to 4 to 5 meters are observed near the sea center, and they may reach 6 meters 20 feet in autumn. Topic. History and exploration Topic. The coast of the Laptev Sea was inhabited for ages by the native peoples of northern Siberia such as Yukagers and Chuvans sub-tribe of Yukagers. Those tribes were engaged in fishing, hunting and reindeer husbandry, as reindeer sleds were essential for transportation and hunting. They were joined and absorbed by Evans and Evanks around the 2nd century and later, between 9th and 15th centuries, by much more numerous Yakuts. All those tribes moved north from the Baikal Lake area avoiding confrontations with Mongols. Whereas they all practiced shamanism, they spoke different languages. Russians started exploring the Laptev Sea coast and the nearby islands some time in the 17th century, going through the rivers emptying into the sea. 
Many early explorations were likely unreported, as indicated by finding of graves on some islands by their official discoverers. In 1629, Siberian Cossacks went through the Lena River and reached its delta. They left a note that the river flows into a sea. In 1633, another group reached the delta of Olenyak. By 1712, Yakov Permyakov and Mercury Vagin explored the eastern part of the Laptev Sea and discovered Bolshoi Lyakovsky Island. However, they were killed on the way back from their expedition by mutineering team members. In 1770, the merchant Ivan Lyakov revisited the islands and then asked a government permission to commercially develop their ivory resources. Catherine II granted the permission and named the islands after Lyakov. While exploring the area in the 1770s, Lyakov described several other islands, including Kotelny, which he named so after a large kettle Russian, Kutel -Kutel left there by previous visitors. He also established first permanent settlements on those islands. In 1735, Russian explorer of Siberia Vasily Pronchashev sailed from Yakutsk down the Lena River on his sloop Yakutsk. He explored the eastern coast of the Lena Delta, and stopped for wintering at the mouth of the Olenyak River. Unfortunately many members of his crew fell ill and died, mainly owing to scurvy. Despite these difficulties, in 1736, he reached the eastern shore of the Tamer Peninsula and went north surveying its coastline. Pronchashev and his wife succumbed to scurvy and died on the way back. Maria Pronchasheva Bay in the Laptev Sea is named after the wife of Pronchashev. During the 1739-1742 Great Northern Expedition, Russian Arctic explorer and Vice Admiral Dmitry Laptev described the sea coastline from the mouth of the Lena River, along the Berkeya and Yana Gulfs, to the strait that bears his name, Dmitry Laptev Strait. As part of the same expedition, Dmitry's cousin Karatin Laptev's led a party that surveyed the coast of the Tamir Peninsula starting from the mouth of the Katanga River. Detailed mapping of the coast of the Laptev Sea and New Siberian Islands was performed by Pyotr Anjou, who in 1821-1823 travelled some 14,000 kilometres over the region on sledges and small boats, searching for the Sanikov land and demonstrating that large-scale coastal observations can be performed without ships. Anzu Islands, the northern part of New Siberian Islands were named after him. In 1875, Adolf Erik Nordenskjeld was the first to travel across the whole sea on a steamship Vega, in 1892-1894, and again in 1900-1902, Baron Eduard von Toll explored the Laptev Sea in the course of two separate expeditions. On the ship Zarya, Toll carried out geological and geographical surveys in the area on behalf of the Russian Imperial Academy of Sciences. In his last expedition Toll disappeared off the New Siberian Islands under mysterious circumstances. Toll noted sizable and economically significant accumulations of perfectly preserved fossil ivory in recent beaches, drainage areas, river terraces and river beds within the New Siberian Islands. The later scientific studies demonstrated that the ivory accumulated over a period of some 200,000 years. Topic. Naming. The Laptev Sea changed its name several times. It was apparently known as the Tartar Sea Russian, Tatarskoy Mor in the 16th century, as the Lena Sea Russian, Lenskoy Mor in the 17th century, as the Siberian Sea Russian, Sibirskoy Mor in the 18th century and as the Icy Sea Russian, Ledovito Mor in the 19th century. It acquired its name as Nordenskold Sea Russian, Mor Nordenselda in 1893. On 27 June 1935, the sea finally received its current name after the cousins Dmitry Laptev and Karatin Laptev who first mapped its shores in 1735-1740. Flora and fauna Both flora and fauna are scarce owing to the harsh climate. Vegetation of the sea is mostly represented by diatoms, with more than 100 species. In comparison, the number of green algae, blue-green algae and flagellate species is about 10 each. The phytoplankton is characteristic of brackish waters and has a total concentration of about 0.2 mg per liter. There are about 30 species of zooplankton with the concentration reaching 0.467 mg per liter. 
The coastal flora mainly consists of mosses and lichens and a few flowering plants including arctic poppy Papaver radicatum, saxifraga, draba and small populations of polar Salix polaris and creeping Salicaceae willows. Rare vascular plants include species of cerastium and saxifraga. Non-vascular plants include the moss genera Detricum, Decranum, Pagonatum, Sanyonia, Bryum, Orthothesium and Tortura, as well as the lichen genera Citraria, Thamnolia, Cornicularia, Lecidia, Ocrolochia and Parmelia. Permanent mammal species include ringed seal Foca hispida, bearded seal Aragnathus barbatus, harp seal Pagophilus gronlandicus, walrus Odobinus rosmaris, collared lemming Decrystonyx torquatus, arctic fox Alapex lagopus, reindeer Rangifer tyrandus, Wolf, Canis lupus, ermine, Mustella ermenia, Arctic hare, Lepus timidus, and polar bear, Ursus maritimus. Whereas beluga whales, Delphinapterus lucus, visit the region seasonally. The walrus of the Laptev Sea is sometimes distinguished as a separate subspecies, Odobinus rosmaris laptevi, though this attribution is questioned. There are several dozen species of birds. Some belong to permanent tundra species, such as snow bunting Plectrophenix nivalis, purple sandpiper Calidris maritima, snowy owl Bubo scandiacus, and Brent goose and other make large colonies on the islands and seashores. The latter include little auk Alla Alla, black-legged kittiwake Rissa tridactyla, black guillemot Cephthus grill, ivory gull Pagophila ibernaea, urea, caridria forms and glaucus gull Larus hyperboreus. Amont other bird species are skua, sterna, northern fulmer, fulmerus glacialis, ivory gull, Pagophila ibernaea, glaucus gull, Larus hyperboreus, Ross's gull, Rhodostethia rosea, long-tailed duck, Clangula hyemalis, eider, loon and willow grouse, Lagopus lagopus. There are 39 fish species, mostly typical of brackish environment. The major ones are grayling and corrigonus whitefishes, such as muxun, corrigonus muxun, broad whitefish, corrigonus nasus, and omul, corrigonus autumnalis. Also common are sardine, Arctic cisco, Bering cisco, polar smelt, saffron cod, polar cod, flounder, and Arctic char. And in canoe, in 1985, the Ustlina Nature Reserve was established in the delta from Russian Uste Ust, meaning delta of the Lena River, with an area of 14,300 square kilometers. In 1986, New Siberian Islands were included into the reserve. The reserve hosts numerous plants 402 species, fishes 32 species, birds 109 species and mammals 33 species. Topic: <laughs> Human activities. Topic: The coast of the sea is shared by the Sakha Republic, Anabarsky, Bulunsky district and Ustyansky districts on the east and Krasnoyarsk Krai, Tamersky Dolgano Nenetsky district of Russia on the west. The coastal settlements are few and small with the typical population of a few hundred or less. The only exception is Tiksi, population 5873, which is the administrative center of the Bulunsky district. Topic: <laughs> Fishery and navigation. Topic: Fishery and hunting have relatively small volume and are mostly concentrated in the river deltas. Data are available for the Katanga Bay and deltas of the Lena and Yana rivers from 1981 to 1991 which translate into about 3,000 tons of fish annually. Extrapolated, they give the following annual estimates in thousand tons by species, sardine 1.2, arctic cisco 2.0, bearing cisco 2.7, broad whitefish 2.6, muxun 2.4 and others 3.6. Hunting sea mammals is only practiced by native people. In particular, walrus hunting is only allowed by scientific expeditions and local tribes for subsistence. Despite freezing, navigation is a major human activity on the Laptev Sea with the major port in Tiksi. During Soviet times, the Laptev Sea coastal areas experienced a limited boom owing to the first icebreaker convoys plying the Northern Sea Route and the creation of the Chief Directorate of the Northern Sea Route. The route was difficult even for icebreakers, so Lenin pictured and her convoy of five ships were trapped in ice in the Laptev Sea around September 1937. They spent an enforced winter there and were rescued by another icebreaker Krasin in August 1938. The major transported goods were timber, fur and construction materials. Tixi had an active airport, and Nordvik Harbor further west was a growing town, though it was closed in the mid-1940s. 
After the breakup of the Soviet Union commercial navigation in the Siberian Arctic went into decline in the 1990s. More or less regular shipping is to be found only from Murmansk to Dudinka in the west and between Vladivostok and Pevik in the east. Ports between Dudinka and Pevik see next to no shipping at all. Logoshkino was abandoned in 1998 and is now a ghost town. Topic. Mining Topic. In the 1930, deposits of coal, oil and salt were discovered around the Nordvik Bay. In order to explore them in the extreme Arctic conditions, a Gulag penal labor camp was established in Nordvik. Drilling revealed only small, shallow oil pockets in connection with salt structures with little commercial significance. However the salt was extracted on a large scale by means of forced laborers in a penal colony. From the 1930s onwards Nordvik became an important source of salt supply for the northern fisheries. Although the original prospects for oil at Nordvik did not materialize, experience was gained in the exploration for hydrocarbons within the continuous permafrost zones. This experience proved invaluable in the later exploration and exploitation of the massive oil and gas fields of western Siberia. The penal colony was closed and its traces erased in the mid-1940s right before Americans arrived in Nordvik as allies of the Soviet Union. In 2017, Rosneft found oil in the Laptev Sea at its central no Olginskaya-1 well. In the Anabar district of Sakha, in the village of Mayat there is one of the northernmost diamond mines. There are also tin and gold mines in the Ustyansky district. Topic. Research. Topic. The meteorological station of Tixi has been renovated in 2006 for example, it has internet connection and security cameras with a wireless interface and has become part of the Atmospheric Observatory Program of the U.S. National Oceanic and Atmospheric Administration Agency. The program aims at long-term, systematic and thorough measurements of clouds, radiation, aerosols, surface energy fluxes and chemistry in the Arctic. It is based on four Arctic stations at one of the world's northernmost settlements, namely Eureka and Alert in Canada in particular, Alert is the northernmost permanently inhabited place on Earth, only 817 kilometers 508 miles from the North Pole, Tixi in Russia, and Utjagvik in Alaska. <laughs> Pollution the water pollution is relatively low and mostly originates from the numerous plants and mines standing on the Lena, Yana and Anabar rivers. Their waste is contaminated with phenols 0.002 to 0.007 mg per liter, copper 0.001 to 0.012 mg per liter and zinc 0.01 to 0.03 mg per liter and is continuously washed down the rivers into the sea. Another regular polluter is the coastal urban type settlement of Tixi. Occasional petrol spills occurred due to navigation and petrol mining. Another major contaminant is associated with floating and sunken wood in the sea, due to decades of rafting activities. As a result, the phenol concentration in the Laptev Sea is the highest over the Arctic waters. See also Topic List of Seas Topic References Topic Topic External Links Topic Media related to Laptev C at Wikimedia Commons <laughs>